Hello everyone, welcome to Vaishaya's YouTube channel and to the Plums MCQ series. Plums is nothing but it's a new series which is conducted by Vaishaya's YouTube channel. This is prelims level up MCQ series. Through this series, we'll be telling you the techniques of solving different MCQs and we'll also uh, help you to test yourself through different subjects. So on daily basis, five MCQs will be dealt from different subjects. Okay, this is episode 13 on December 17, 2022. I'll be dealing about CSAT, that is Math, Aptitude and Reasoning. Okay. So on daily basis in Vaishaya's YouTube channel, Plums series will be conducted. You can join with us at 9 p.m. Uh, so on Tuesday, Geography and Environment MCQs will be dealt. Wednesday is about Polity, Governance and Schemes. Um, and uh, Thursday is about Economics, Budget and Survey. And Saturday is about CSAT Math, Aptitude and Reasoning. Sir, sir is also going to take some of the subjects on uh, Sunday. Sir will be dealing about current affairs, maps and IR. On Monday, history, art and culture will be dealt. And on Friday, science and technology will be dealt. If you practice the right way, then no one can stop you from clearing the UPSC exam. So if you want a free UPSC civil service coaching, there are only two steps that you can do. First step is to subscribe to this ch channel and click the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever we upload. Uh, update uh, the new content step 2 is saving the number that is 7200681675 this is a whatsapp number through which uh, you can uh, text through sir so you can send upsc free to this number so that you will get all the information related to exam and also to the about the channel so if your dream is to become an ias and ips or any other uh, civil servant uh, so you can uh, have access to all the free content through our channel that is Vaishaya's. So many free lectures are already present. So subscribe to channel and click the notification bell icon so that you will get access to all the free content which is already available in the channel. So without delaying, let's start this uh, session. The first uh, question is, in a year, Ravi earns 30, uh, 3 lakh 60 thousand and pays 24,000 as income tax. Find the ratio of his income to income tax. So they have already given the data that is his income is nothing but 3 lakh 60 thousand income and he is paying how much income tax? 24,000 income tax is something which is paying. They are simply asking the ratio between the income to income tax. So this is very simple question. The only thing that is there is the calculation part. Uh, values are already given in the question. They have asked us the ratio between income and income tax. So income is given as 3 lakh 60,000, right? Let's write the data. 3 lakh 60,000 is income. When we divide it with the tax, that is nothing but the answer. So the tax is given as 24,000. Okay, now let's uh, solve the uh, equation. We'll cancel three zeros with the three zeros. 12 to the 24, 12 3 is 36, that is 30 by 2. 30 by 2 is nothing but 15 is to 1. So 15 is to 1 is there in the third option. So third uh, option is correct for the MCQ number 1. So I have given the explanation part in the next slide. So you can pause the video and you can go through the answer once again if you want. So one thing uh, I want to uh, tell you is you can participate with us. That is after reading, uh, after I read every question, you can pause the video and solve the question by yourself. Whatever the answer that you get, uh, comment in the comment box and cross check with the solution that I give in the video. Okay, it will help you to test yourself. Now let's solve MCQ number 2. Four bells begin tolling at the same time and continue to toll at intervals of 20, 25, 28 and 50 seconds respectively. Find the smallest integral number of minutes after which all the bells toll together again. So now you can pause the video and try this question by yourself and come back to the video. Okay, now let's solve the question. Whenever this kind of questions will be given, th there is a simple trick that we can follow is we have to just find the LCM of the given numbers. Okay, when this bell kind of things or something which is stalling together, this kind of question comes, we have to find the LCM. So there are different ways of finding LCM. Let's do uh, two types. Okay, in this video, I'll be telling you the two types of solving LCM. So LCM, the basic method which we used to follow in the school is something which I'm going to tell you initially. So we have to find the LCM of 20, 25, 28 and 50. So this is the basic method that we used to follow in the school. So 2, two tens are 20, 25, 2 14s are 28, 2 25s are 50. 
Okay, now let's take through 5 table. 5 2s are 10, 5 5s are 25, 14 is uh, remaining as it is, 5 5s are 25. Now let's take 5, 2 remains as it is, 5 1s are 5, 14 and 5 1s are 5. Now let's take uh, 2, 2 1s are 1, 2 7s are 14 and 1. So uh, this is something which we have got. So what we have to do, we have to multiply all these numbers with this remaining number. 2 into 5 is 10. Uh, 2 into 5 is 10. I am writing here. 2 into 5 is 10. Again one more 10. And remaining is 7. So 7 into 10 into 10 is nothing but 700. So 700 is the LCM of this given numbers. So uh, just remember that we have got 700 as the LCM. Now let me tell you the another method of solving M uh, LCM. So let's take different numbers. So first number is given as 20. We have to write these numbers in the form of powers of prime numbers. Okay. 20 can be written as 5 into 2 square. 25 can be written as 5 square. 28 can be written as 7 into 2 square. Right. 2 square is 4. 4 into 7, 28. 50. 50 can be written as 5 square into 2 square. Sorry, not 2 square. It is just 2. Okay. Uh, now, what we have to do is, we have to write the highest powers of the numbers. So, for the 5, which is the highest power that is there in the solution, 5 square is the highest power. Okay, 5 square. And for the 2, 2 square is the highest power. And for the 7, 7 is, 7 power 1 is the highest power. So, we have to multiply this 3. 5 square is nothing but 25. 2 square is nothing but 4 into 7. 25 4 is 100. 100 into 7 is nothing but 700. So we have got the LCM in the first scenario as 700 and in this method also we have got the LCM as 700. So these are the two basic methods which I have I wanted to tell you of solving LCM. Okay we have got the LCM as 700. 700 is nothing but it's in the seconds. Right. So 700 the LCM which we got it is in the seconds. We have to convert that into minutes. So how to convert into minutes we have to just divide it by 60. Right. So when you divide it by 60, uh, 35 and 3, 2 35s and 2 3s. So we have got the ratio as 35 by 3 minutes. Right. They have asked us the smallest integral value. So when we want to find the integral value, we should not have this decimal kind of thing. So 35 by 3 will be in the decimal format. Right. We should not have that kind of answer. We should have the integral value. So the smallest value can be. So, uh, so the answer can be 35 by 3 into x. So, x can be any value. If you substitute 1, uh, it the answer will be in the decimal form. If you substitute 2 also, the answer will be in the decimal form. If you substitute 3 in the place of x, then the ultimate answer will be 35. So, this can be the smallest integral value. So, 35 minutes is the answer. So, 35 is there in the option number 4. So, for the MCQ, num MCQ number 2, option 4 is correct. Now let's solve MCQ 3. A shopkeeper runs a profit of 25% on selling a radio at 15% discount on the printed price. Find the ratio of the printed price and the cost price of the radio. Now you can pause the video and try this question by yourself and comment your answer in the comment box and cross check with the solution which I give. Okay, now let's uh, do the question. So they have uh, given a shopkeeper runs 25% profit on the radio at 15% discount on the printed price. Now let's take the value of cost price as 100. Let us assume the 100 is the cost price. Okay. Uh, what will be the selling price? They have told us the profit is 25%. 25% of 100 is nothing but 25 rupees. So if the profit is 25 rupees, then SP will become CP plus 25. CP is 100. 100 plus 25 is 125. So uh, SP will become 125. So uh, what is the printed price that is what is the marked price we have to find the marked price right so uh, mark so this sp is nothing but it's the 25 percent value of the printed price this is something which is given in the question okay sorry it's not 25 percent it's 15 percent discount on the printed price the selling price is 15 percent discount on the printed price so selling price is nothing but 125 this 125 is nothing but it's uh, let us take the printed price as x. So it is 15% the discounted value of the printed price. So if you solve this equation, you will get the x value. Right. So let's solve this equation. 
ओके एक्स वैल्यू विल बिकम वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू हंड्रेड बाई हंड्रेड माइनस फिफ्टीन इज नथिंग बट एटी फाइव राइट सो दे हैव आस्ड एज द रेशियो लेट्स नॉट सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन लेट्स डायरेक्टली फाइन द रेशियो बिटवीन द प्रिंटेड प्राइस एंड द कॉस्ट प्राइस सो प्रिंटेड प्राइस इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू हंड्रेड बाई एटी फाइव लेट मी राइट वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू हंड्रेड बाई एटी फाइव दिस इज द प्रिंटेड प्राइज डिवाइडेड बाई वॉट इज द right so 100 and 100 gets cancelled and now we have to solve this 125 by 85 125 by 85 is 5 2 are 10 5 is are 25 5 are 5 5 is are 35 right 25 is to 17 so 25 is to 17 is there in the option number 4 so option number 4 is correct answer 25 is to 17 so i have given the another method over here this is uh, uh, like we have to solve this uh, kind of questions through this kind of formula so the formula is 100 plus profit percent by 100 minus discount percent is equal to the ratio between the printed price and the cost price this is the direct formula that you can use and the method uh, also you can use which i have told already so you can pause the video and solve through this formula and comment in the comment section if you have got the right answer or not now let's solve mcq number 4 what will be in the place of the question mark in the following question so uh, they have asked what will be in the place of the question mark so we have to find this question mark so let's take the question mark value as x right so they have given uh, under root 5 is nothing but power 1 by 5 right 2 243 whole square power 1 by 5 we can write under root as power 1 by 5 right so 243 is nothing but it is 3 power 5 So if you multiply two into one by five, it will become two by five. No, so this five and this five gets cancelled. So three square is the answer. Three square is nothing but nine. So nine will be the answer for this MCQ number four. So option five for MCQ number four is the right option. So I have given the detailed solution once again over here. You can pause the video and cross check it. Now let's solve the last MCQ of the session. What is the value of twelve? One by two plus twelve. One by three plus twelve. One by six. Let me tell you it in the easier way. What we can write? How we can write twelve? One by two. We can write it as twelve in twelve plus one by two, plus twelve plus one by three, plus twelve plus one by six. Right. Twelve plus twelve plus twelve is nothing but thirty-six. Plus one by two, plus one by three, plus one by six. Here LCM can be taken as six. Right, so two three is a six, three two is a six, and one. So this whole value is six, and the denominator is also six. So it will get cancelled. That is nothing but thirty six plus one. That is thirty seven will be the correct answer for it. So for the MCQ number five thirty seven, that is option two is the correct answer. I have given the detailed solution again over here. If you want, you can pause the video and uh, cross check it. So that is. it for today's video i hope so you have enjoyed this video uh, in the same way tomorrow also will be solving different mcqs from different uh, subject okay uh, please subscribe and stay tuned to the channel uh, thank you everyone uh, let's meet in the another section bye bye